Washington, and let me give you a little background. Um, I'm a college student at CBC, and back last spring when I got my DUI, I ended up failing one of my classes in college, and therefore that made my financial aid go into warning status. So this past fall, when I was in school, um, the classes were a little too rough for me, and so I withdrew from the class. That automatically suspended my financial aid. Therefore, with the result of that, my job stopped, so I no longer can work, because where my job is, it's a work study, which is through the financial aid. So I had no financial aid to go to school and no job, so for the whole month of December, I didn't work. I just trusted the Lord, and I ended up moving into my own place, actually, over winter break. And two weeks ago, when I was on my way to church, all I had was $100 bills in my wallet. And I was like, that was for me to pay rent. And I distinctly heard the Lord's voice on my way here as I'm pulling in here, just tie the whole $100. And I'm like, no, he don't want me to tie the $100. I was like, I need that to pay rent. I was like, you got to be that. No, that's not the Lord. And I'm like, no, he's like, tie the whole $100. Trust me. And I'm like, no, you can't possibly want me to tie the whole $100. I'm like, no. So I even, um, or sacrifice the whole $100, yes. So, um. I come here, and they're selling the sweaters out in the hallway. And I'm like, well, I'll just get a sweater, and I'll break the 100 Well, they don't have my size. So I'm like, okay, I guess he wants the whole $100. So um, as a result, when the tithe and offering and the sacrifices was went around, I did obediently put the whole $100 in the envelope and gave it to the Lord. And as a result, the next day, I got a letter from the financial aid that my financial aid was reinstated and that's like five thousand dollars so three thousand of it went to pay my tuition tuition and the other two thousand was cash for me to help me pay bills and also my job was reinstated so i'm back at my work making you know over fifteen dollars an hour and all of this stuff praise the lord So now, Victoria, you have your job back and you have extra money to pay your bills and the rest of the stuff. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. God is good. <laughs> Amen. So, Victoria, can you please uh, say a word of, of advice to people, please? That you can't outgive God. I'm definitely learning that. So if you give, he will give back even more. 